in today's world, we're very familiar with the concept of scale being associated with centralized mass manufacturing. So we produce a lot of things in one location and then export it globally. And that's something that doesn't work with a biomaterial economy and biomaterial supply chains because A, there's a lot of secondary and, and, and third generation biomass that is highly distributed. So think of food waste, for instance, or agricultural byproducts. That's something that's very difficult to centralize and, and produce from. And you actually risk over extracting any given source ecosystem if you try and scale up in any one location in a traditional mass manufacturing sense. The thing that we need to think about is scaling horizontally. So actually we want to scale by propagating these solutions at local and regional scales. So if you imagine, again, being nature inspired, we're talking about cycling nutrients, cycling materials at local and regional scales where the intelligence, the knowledge, the understanding of what's available and therefore the rate of nutrient return that's necessary to keep the system regenerative that's built in to the system. And so we see Materium and the kind of the sea change we want to inspire as being the information layer that allows people everywhere at small and medium scales to be able to adopt new materials, commercialize them and enter into um, the market. Now, that's not to say that large companies are somehow not part of that potential vision. It's just that we have to rethink the way supply chains operate. So you may have global brands, but the way in which they're sourcing nutrients may actually be um, more regionalized. Um, and the great thing about working with the palette of building blocks that we talk about, so the biopolymers like chitin and cellulose and starch and, um, and seaweed biopolymers, for instance, all of these amazing building blocks, they actually are repeated across biomes everywhere. And so even though you may be sourcing from different, slightly different uh, uh, sources of biomass, depending on location, the building blocks themselves are, are, quite, um, are, are, are quite sourceable everywhere. And so it's something where we can share knowledge across uh, biomes and we can share knowledge across these kind of, these more regionalized supply chains. So the knowledge is digital, but the, the materials cycle at local and regional levels.